the next element that I start on is the chop chop biscuit base. Put everything together and it still felt really crumbly. And I checked the recipe again and followed all the steps. My measurements were right. I don't know, I stuck it in the fridge hoping that that would do something because that's what you do with short crust. I'm working on my lemon curd at the moment. Second time round, it's looking a lot better. Just to strain it and then that's going to go in the blast chiller. Had one hour already, there is an hour and a half left. If you don't get your timing right, you will not complete this challenge. You should be three elements down and should be making two more. I tackled the white chocolate chip sweetened uh, biscuit crust, creamed the butter with the sugar, and I pressed it out. I didn't, I didn't put it in the fridge. It's really hard to layer this cake because you're doing it in reverse from what you're used to cutting or seeing. I pipe my lemon mousse in at the bottom and I put my lemon curd into the mousse. Fill in the gaps around the lemon curd slab and then I put my dacquoise layer in. Pipe the edges. I then remove my cookie base, place it on top. It needs to set really, really hard in the last chiller for about 10 minutes. Okay. Come on, guys, last, last half hour. Push. I miss it's ready to go into the mold and from this point I can start assembling the, the ghetto. Let's go, Carmony. Family, how you doing? Okay, Chef. How did you go about building your cake in that mold? Chef, the, the mousse is in the blast chiller. I've got the biscuit base, I've got the lemon curd that's also in the freezer, the shards are outside, and I'm currently doing the mousse for the top. Remember, part of the challenge is to make sure that it looks exactly like the prototype. Okay, thanks. Something is wrong. I go over and realize that that mold should actually be halfway full. Shit. <laughs> Pull it out and start scooping out bits. I lay in the lemon curd, which is too thick. Um, I realize as I pop it out of the mold. You have 20 minutes remaining. By now, you should have all those layers of that delicate ghetto all come together, and it should be setting in the fridge. Make sure that you're at that point. Otherwise, you will not finish this challenge, guys. You need to make it happen. 20 minutes remaining. I uh, take the biscuit base out. It's super crumbly. I have to use my scale and get it on, onto the mold. Put the whole thing back in the, the blast chiller and I'm just praying that it's gonna set because there are maybe just under 15 minutes to go. I think to win MasterChef it takes a fighting spirit. The whole point of the show is to make you a better chef, it's to find the best chef and you do that by pointing out errors that people at home or your friends wouldn't point out about your cooking. Oh. I see cake. You just let nothing get you down. And you just keep believing in who you are and what you do. I think that there's nothing that you can't do, and that includes winning MasterChef.
I'm struggling quite a bit to get my Gato out of the mold. It just doesn't want to budge. And I feel the top and it's really squishy, which does not bode well. Yeah, I have this brainwave to, to get my kettle boiled and put a bit of hot water over the mold. It worked. There my Gato was sitting on the plate. Only five minutes remaining. You should have your ghetto out the mold and you should begin that Italian meringue on there. Don't worry, company, it looks good. It looks good. Work with it. Eventually it comes off, but the top is not frozen and it's this heap of loose mess. But bottom line is I need to finish. So I pipe on these incredibly messy little rosette things. You really need to be finishing this off, guys. comfortable and I feel more at home in the kitchen when I can lick a sugar spoon every now and then. 60 seconds and it's all done. Nice comedy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, stop cooking, that's it, well done. The tasting awaits and I'm just hoping that, you know, it all comes together and it, it tastes as semi-decent as it looks. You know, you can cover up a cake with pretty meringue and the cake itself might be messed up, so it could be any of us. It just feels like I'm going home today. The three of you faced the toughest pressure test to date. You had to replicate Chef Kelvin Joel's unbelievable lemon meringue ghetto in two and a half hours. So Kelvin, what did you think of their efforts? It's not something easy to do for the first time. There was a few mistakes here and there, but I mean, I think it was really, really good effort. Salim, cutting into the cake, the layers were fantastic. The mousse was light and fluffy. The curd, just the right amount, nice and sharp, exploded in your mouth. The daquas was magnificent. Jason, the problem came when you cut into it. You could see that you'd struggle with the Italian meringue, and as a result, you didn't get the volume that you needed into that mousse. The kind of texture it was adding was not what we were after. The base was too solid and we weren't getting that nice, chewy, nutty flavor from the duck box. Carmony, I think your meringue on the outside didn't quite get beaten enough. It just started to weep a little bit when you started to, to, to gratinate it and glaze it. But tasting those various elements, the curd was spot on. It was beautifully balanced. Maybe if I wasn't so hard on myself and I didn't want things to be so perfect, I would be happy with the fact that Chef Pete is praising us for completing the task. The next person leaving the Master Chef kitchen is. Jason.